Yo, what is up you guys? It's your favorite hero from Heroes Evolved Moon. And Monday we did the ranked games on Astrid. I'm so glad you all enjoyed that and that we are getting so many new subs and so much likes on video. I am sure that today we can easily reach 50 likes again on this video because on Wednesday we do Pick My Trick. Last week you chose Nightshade, the week before you chose Guan Yu, and it's all up to you. So this week we are playing Rahotep. It was actually suggested by my man Broken Ace with 6 likes, a stunning 6 likes, what the hell? Guys, you can easily get 15 to 20 likes on a comment and make sure you actually get a little bit of a discussion going. What hero do you want to see next week? Make sure to leave a comment right now down below and vote for your favorites as well so you can choose what i will play next week for you guys my man Rautep comes with four skills or actually three because one is a passive and you will see them on screen now if you want to read it you can pause it his first skill deals magical damage for 10 seconds and it leaves behind a trail on the live streams we like to call this the stinky stank then his second skill quicksand you will actually Increase your own movement speed and slow enemies down for 5 seconds if they are within this area that you can cast. His ultimate is actually where all the fun comes from because what this does is it will drag an enemy unit with him. Underneath a tower, into your team, whatever you want and it's so strong. So every time this comes up you are about to get a kill or at least something fun out of it. His 4 skill is his passive which increases his spell resist. And enemy units, also minions, also champions that use basic attacks against him will take damage and lose attack speed for 4 seconds. Now let's get into this. For the build I like to run the speedster boots because you need the additional movement speed to get the enemies close to your own tower. Then of course it is assumed that you are playing a tank so you will also take a little bit of defensive items and the Searing Longsword is actually one of the greatest items to take for that because you are going to be up close with the enemies. Next I like to take the summoning armor, you can take this right now or you can take the crystal shield first, it really depends on your style. Some people think that the summoning armor should not be picked very early but I like it to get you know ahead of the enemy archers and at this point you will have accumulated about 10k to gold so it is a little bit further into the game. Crystal Shield as I just said gives you additional health and mana but also the most important thing is the spell resist and the fact that you are blocking a little bit of damage. Phoenix Heart my favorite tank item because after a tiring fight you can actually get your health back. You don't need to wait for your heal to come back up and you will also get a little bit of additional strength which also gives you additional health. Then lastly the Accursed Eye, you can actually buy the Dodge Stone earlier if you want to. This item also gives you a ton of spell resist and the active item Dodge Stone makes it impossible for enemies to root you, to stun you, whatever it is they are doing to you. I think rooting might actually work because Grom will still stun you. But yeah, that's the, uh, the Dodge Stone and the Accursed Eye, also additional health and mana. Great item, make sure to get it on any heroes you are going to make plays with. Let's get the music in, let's get the plays in, let's get things rolling with Rotep. Guys, I am so excited for this. Because I make so many videos, well, I think four videos a week is quite a lot. I have to get gameplay every single play that I make. Everything has to be perfect because if I have to play 10 games with a hero, I will lose half my day and I need to make the video which costs 3 hours. So I really appreciate you hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel so you never ever miss me tryharding again. Make sure we get last hits. Miss one. Never mind. I forgive you stinky stank. That's, that's alright. This is looking like a free tower. Let's get it. 3 full HP minions. 1 at 1 HP but it was still team damage. And just like in League of Legends, now I know a lot of people play that game, um, you still get gold when you hit the tower early on. Well, it's not exactly the same, but in League of Legends you actually get these plates and you get gold for destroying them. Early in the game you get gold for hitting the tower. We really want to be careful with this, with the Satori. He's pretty, I know, he's pretty weak in a mental state. 
No, I'm just messing around. We gotta be careful with this Atori. He is... He's insane. Early game, Atori, you don't want to make mistakes. You really do not want to make mistakes because his 4th skill deals so much damage. Of course, at level 1, he shouldn't be too much of a threat because if he's smart, he's picking his 2nd skill first. Getting the mobility, getting the dash out there. I know people disagree with this, but that is the play you... Well, you don't have to make it. I'll be happy if you don't. But I take always take mobility first on my heroes. Always. You attack in the buff. Four enemies come and gank you and you don't have the mobility. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. This should be a free tower, but there's like three or four enemies in the mid lane. I don't know. I will put my second skill up there. Just to maybe get out of this situation. Oh, he has his ultimate already. Yep, uh, that's uh, that's very sad. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I don't even know how I died there. But we still got one kill on them. Alright, that's worth. It's not worth. But that that's at least something. I really expected the Stiletto to be a little bit faster. Ooh, that ult came a little bit early. Please don't tell me you lose this. Rip. Pandora just killed Lunaria there. You always want to finish it off with your ultimate, to be fair. Stop it. Stop it! Oh shit, this might have been a bad idea. I get stunned. Nice dash. Bonnie is definitely in my top 5 for ADs. <laughs> what? Guys, we got the kill on her. What is going on right here? Our team consists of 4. A grand total of 4. Um, ranged heroes, and we are the only thing, the only melee thing here, and we are actually the only one with kills so far. Of course, that first skill and the second skill were both a bit weird, but hey, that's Royal Tap for you. I expected to get a lot of assists because of the smoke, the stinky stank, but so far, uh, this game is looking pretty rough for us. But I'm still having fun, so I guess. I guess this might might make the video. I can't even talk. This might make the video. <laughs> oh shit! Mid lane getting ganked. Look at the map. It's going terrible. My god, this is a rough match already. Let's go over there. This tower should be should be good to go. At least we got that going for us. Our towers are still standing, and we're pushing two of their towers. So. So far, so good, right? Dragon almost up. I'm saving my ward for that. Oh, can we get one? I would really want to get Bonnie, but I think this is a guaranteed kill. We're still low level, only level 1 on our ultimate. Don't take any risk here. Don't take the risk. Kill the minions. Let's go ward to Dragon. So we know when they are attacking it. Please don't die on me. Oh, man. Oh, he got him. And he's 1 HP. Boggers, let's go. Good job, buddy. Good job. You got a kill. You're on the board right now. We still got 10 deaths, though. Look at this beautiful, beautiful sparkle sparkle in the air. I guess Lunaria left that there. Oh, my God. How do you do that? How do you not play safe? Like, it didn't even look like... Why does... Alright, if you're looking to pick up Rautap, make sure that you actually drag his second skill out. Because just tapping it ain't gonna cut it. Right, so that should be helping us here. He's focusing on the wolves first though. But look at this. Um, because of our fourth skill, he takes a ton of damage. Because of our first skill, he takes a ton of damage. And we can almost solo that dragon ourselves. Like, it's not super fast, but it's kind of fast. Oh my god. My bad. My bad, I'm just, I'm just passing by. Fall back, please. Don't die on me. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're still living. Yo, thank you so much for requesting this hero. I can't wait to see what we're going to be playing next week, but... Rotep is actually... Yeah, there's the Poseidon. Oh, we just got out. Rotep is actually such a fun hero. Like, if you're going in with this mindset that I have right now, like, I don't expect to get anything. But if I get anything, it's going to be beautiful. You're going to enjoy it a lot. I don't know how good it is in rank, but 
I assume that it's a pretty good hero for there as well. Like, you have so much control. Every time I can... Every time I use my ultimate, I basically get a free kill or an assist. I think I'm building it a little bit different than I explained it in my... Uh, in my intro. But that's just because I think that we really need to get something going here and I want to experiment as well. The build that I showed you is still the build that I would normally run. This build is more of a... I don't know, I just want the additional movement speed. Just to try and see how much fun that could be. Like building him a little bit more like an assassin maybe? Because we don't have one and I have to occupy both roles. Oh my god. Run! Place that, get an additional movement speed. It's up in 5 seconds from now, we can use it again. Uh, try and block her out, but she and me get hurt, get hurt by the ultimate from Poseidon and we inevitably die. The Facilia actually calling the... Oh, 0 3 one 3 one 3 one 3 one 5 Yo! What is this? Oh, the Atori has 7 kills. You don't want to fight against Atori with a full team of, of weak, cute heroes. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, I don't have my ultimate. Mistake. Big mistake. But, hey, we look way tougher than he does, so he runs from us, naturally. Now I have my ultimate. Pop my heel just to maybe survive the fight. Bonnie's coming in. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Oh, get shit on. And the nice rabbit form there to make sure she doesn't escape. Nice, that's beautiful. Yo, I'm sorry, but I don't understand your language. And I don't know what you're saying, so you're going to get muted. Right off the bat. They're not here. Yo, we got five kills out of eight. What is even going on? Nice, there's the bicolor twin swords. I guess we're really fast right now. Oh my god. The Pandora is almost dead. She's retreating. That should have been our target. Uh, I couldn't get... Once again, I tried placing it, but it didn't activate. Oh. All right. Uh, they're pretty pretty scared for a team that's uh, 10 kills ahead and probably about 10k gold. Let's see what we can do. Please don't die on me. I feel like... I'm sorry, Yuki, but you might be like the weakest link on our team right now. The plays you make don't really make any sense. Like, Oh, my ultimate. I tapped it. You gotta drag all of the abilities. Okay, I got one. I got one. And this is probably the end. The Bonnie is going to ramp up. Oh, we still live it? Yo! Well done. <laughs> I hit them with that. Well done. This is actually insane. I did not expect it to go this well. I bought Rodzap as soon as he came out a couple of months ago. Because he seems so much fun. And that ultimate is exactly what makes him fun. Alright, let's take this. I'm not sure where the enemies are. Like... Lunaria is pushing up. Why is Lunaria all the way over there? She's going to die there. They might be taking the taking the car. Should I check it out? Yep, Lunaria dead. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And now my teammates are pushing without me. They're walking into. Yep, dead. They're walking into Bonnie and Odin. Odin trying to do a nice maneuver. My team didn't did fall for it. All right, I have my ultimate, but I want to use it on Bonnie. Oh, the range! It's not good enough. This is a fallback situation, guys. We're down one member. It's a 5v4. We are 9 kills behind. Two or three of our teammates are critical health. We don't want to go in right now. I kind of... I, I kind of told you so. And there's another ultimate kill. Beauty! Yup, dead. Come on, man. Come on. And now Lunaria is living, but she doesn't see the Odin. She's not shooting him. She could have easily ulted him. Oh well. Yo, this game is, ain't looking good. 
Their Pandora is actually not that great on Eco, but all of my teammates, dude, the death counters on them are insane. And I'm going to be dying a lot as well, especially in team fights where I have to tank for my teammates. I love the Lunaria skin. Just, I don't know, learn the player a little bit more. I don't know, I haven't really paid attention to Lunaria. It's just that, that split push she made to the second tower, yikes, yikes. In this team, we don't really have any split pushers. What Yuki is doing right now is a very, very bad play. Yup, she's going to dash. She's afraid of me. She should be. Come over! Oh my god, I wanted to hit her with that Mortal Kombat shit. That's unfortunate. It's still a kill. Alright, we got Odin and we die. Like, at the start of the game, when the, our towers were still standing, it was, it was quite easy to do it. And right now, it's just trading one for one. I use my ultimate, so I get one kill, but I die. Well done. Anyways, back to the split pushing part, uh, it's really difficult to do. My laners one shot lanes, but they die in one shot as well, so they can- look, there she goes. There's no way. I don't- yeah, there's- I don't know, there's no words for that, is there? Like Lunaria split pushing right there, she's going to get the tower, but it's going to cost her a life probably. It's just too risky, Th that's what you need an assassin for. So the only way- I cannot split push as well, I'm a tank. The only way we can win this is by winning a team fight and then pushing all together. I think they're at Zakar by the way. I constantly think that but... I might be right. No, Bunny- Bunny is not at it. When Bunny starts moving towards it, they're definitely on it. Yep, yep. Look, my teammates going to Poseidon. Oh my god, they're not over here. Shit, I thought you followed me for a second. It was so obvious, too. Oh, man. There goes our nice KD as well. Not that it really matters, but... This was a good game in the start. Right now, it's looking a little bit more difficult. I don't think we're going to pull off a victory here, but luckily we got a second game, so... We got another chance at this. <laughs> there comes the Fuselia. Just emphasizing what this match is. Complete chaos and uncoordinated shit. He's going to die as well. How do you not reach your ages there? Oh well, we tried. It's just... It wasn't meant to be, guys. It was a fun match though. I really... I had a couple of laughs there. It was fun. But now I want to win the game. Let's see if we can. Alright, at least the matchup seems a little bit better than last time. Oh shit, I'm reconnecting? Oh, my team! Look at them go! My team consists of Electros only. Oh, they're taking Zhang Fei out right off the bat? Wait guys, I'm coming! Don't fight without me! Actually, at level 1 it doesn't really matter. Like, It's... It's just, is your first skill OP or not? And, um... Are you ranged or not? That's what I feel like level 1 battles are. Is your first skill... Like a great escape or a ton of damage? Alright, let's push them a bit. You're not getting it for free. Use your mana there. Zhang Fei and Lapina in the bot lane. Alright, I'm just switching around a bit. I'm looking whether I can get a quick early play because in the last game we had, we got completely annihilated. And I, I feel like this is the case with most matches. You just need a good head start. If you get a good start... <laughs> dude, that Goblin looks great. <laughs> Look at that. Yo, dude. The... The e Egyptians back in the day knew how to twerk. Yo, if, but if you get a good start to the game, it's going to be a lot more... A lot easier for your teammates. Some teammates just only play well when they are ahead and just suck when, you know, they're not. So let's see if we can get something going. It's actually... I'm going to mute them. That's actually a language I haven't seen before. Anyone knows what that is? Because I don't recognize it. Oh yeah, if you haven't already, but you're still watching, uh, first of all, you are amazing. Second, make sure to leave the hero 
below and vote for your favorite heroes for next week's video. Like the more likes it gets, the the better this series is doing. Like this raw tab got six upvotes. I think we're gonna at least reach ten or fifteen. People gotta vote for that shit. You wanna see your hero, right? Here we go. Let's get the stun. Expect it. Should have maybe used my poison a little bit later. I'm just walking around there so she doesn't get out of it easily. First block for us, and we are going to be dying in a second here. Dude, that. Oh, we live in! What? <laughs> Yo! Yo! We're still alive! I did not see that coming. There were so many stuns in there. We're actually 4 out of 4 right now in terms of kills and assists. Let's go! And then this tune comes on. I like this one a lot. Livestream viewers know. Alright, it's looking good. It's looking good. I still have my ultimate, by the way. I need to get either Lapina or Faseli out here. Team! I got one! I got one! <laughs> Dude, this hero is so much fun! Like, you use your second skill with your ultimate. Um, your plan is already to run back to your teammates or to safety. But you're dragging along an enemy who wants to be fleeing because their entire team probably is, but they can. They're actually following you around and that confuses the entire enemy team. Uh, make, maybe even making them walk forward instead of backward, trying to save it, but most of the times... Oh no, no, no! <laughs> oh shit, he has a speed buff! I didn't mean it like that, dude! Mikio, help! Oh man, Mikio, dude! He's 1 HP as well. Shit. <laughs> I didn't see the speed buff, man. I'm just having fun out here. It's not ranked, it's just fun games. If you want to see ranked gameplay, you gotta check in on Mondays or just the playlist for ranked games. <laughs> I, I was just messing around. I, I didn't do it on purpose. I actually did. Alright. Look how easy you clean these minions out. It's, it's beautiful. Like, I take a couple of hits, yes. But I use my second skill so I'm faster and just leave behind the stinky stank to do the work for me. The minions are not going to be moving because they are stalling because of my own minions. It works out great. It really does. And I'm not yet sure whether I want to max out my passive first or my first skill. Oh, I got one! Shit, I walked the wrong way. Did I? Did I? Yo! Nine assists! Oh, this Lubu is a tryhard. Look at Lubu on the map! Look at him! Abandoning his team and taking all of our towers. Yo, don't try so hard. We're just having fun out here. I don't like what he's doing. I don't like it. Lapina AFK? Shit. Oh, it's their teammate. Well, still. Yo, don't try so hard, man. It's a casual game. Try and save your teammates, your friends, instead of, you know, split pushing. I know he's making the right play, but still. Yo, they're taking a the dragon. Yo, team! I don't think there's anything we can do without Bonnie. I don't... They don't have it yet. Can I steal this? Ah, just too late. I won't... Yes, I will. Because... I don't know. I just felt like it, okay? I just felt... Wait, didn't he have his ultimate? Oh! Well, that was a clutch gameplay then. Popping your second into your first so you leave behind the stinky stank while dragging them, making them take additional damage. Dude, this hero is actually designed so well. More people should play this hero, especially in ranked, because it's, it's a great counter against any type of hero. Chariot wants to jump away? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, Wolf wants to go for additional health? I don't think so. That kind of shit, you know? They have, a, they have a Zeus and he wants to jump away or he's going to deal a ton of damage? Nope. Nope. You're going to drag him around. Oh, it's a good song as well. I like these more lo-fi rap beats. Um, I made a mistake. 
I made a mistake, my bad. We're still walking through my poison, but like a full team of 50% HP heroes is not anything we can do. So, like, it's not worth it. The Bonnie is doing the same thing as the Lulu and is working out. Guys, Bonnie is too expensive, but really OP. She's still really good. Like, she will solo Zakar easily. Is that a good place to teleport? So I doubt it. At least she stepped into the river, but you saw the Lubu dash over there on the map? He was right there. Come on, get something! <laughs> Yo, just playing tag out here. Nice. I wish I would have gotten that assist, but I guess that works. Wait, they are... Oh, our friendly teammate died. Wait, we killed Zeus? Yeah, we killed Zeus with a tag. Well, who killed the Lapina? Oh, Lapina was killed by our Zeus? But then who did Lapina kill? Dude, this is getting way too complicated. What's up with these duplicate heroes? We both have a Lubu. We both have a, a Zeus. Alright. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the music. I've watched some other YouTubers and most of them... Most of them aren't talking throughout their gameplays, like... I mean, like, every every minute they talk a bit. Nope, it's not happening, dude. Nice ulti. Oh, you will get the kill. Oh, she actually got away? Zip. He... You are coming with me. Get over here! Anyways, um... Most other YouTubers just talk a bit. But they just let the game run and focus on the game more, I guess. I don't know, it's just, my style is more of, you know, interacting with you guys, talking a lot. Even though I'm taking a lot of damage here, I still want to clear out that wave. Show them we're not afraid. Not afraid to take a stab. I felt like I had to let them know. Like, I appreciate the competition. It's just, it's just weird that he's never, you know, he's not helping his team out, he's just doing his own thing. I would not, I don't know, I would like a, a player like that on my team, but I would hate it as well. Oh shit, yo, that's a good play there, but you're still getting a hook. You should have walked back way further. And we eliminate a little bit of their damage. Still they have Lapina and Zeus, so damage is not really something they lack. Oh shit, it's going down guys, it's going down. We're about to take a ton of damage, protect our weak heroes first. Let's make sure that it looks like uh, I'm dead. <laughs> That's, that was not what I meant to say, chat. I wasn't going to say let's make it look like I'm dead. Um, let's make it look like we are actually protecting our teammates even though we can't really do much. So you saw the, I think it was Lubu or Zeus, you saw them falling back. Because we were protect. it was Lubu. You saw them falling back because it looked like we were protecting our Zeus. And in the end, Zeus ended up surviving. We died. But just, I don't know, just the fact that it looked like that made them fall back. Sometimes you just have to look mean, that's all. That's all there is to it. Do we still get that kill? Yeah, we got the kill on Lubu. It's not worth it because we also lose the tower. But if we were going to lose the tower anyways, it's a good trade. So I, I gotta be honest with you guys, because you guys are always honest with me too. I'm struggling for this Friday's video, I want to do a top 5 in terms of AD, but it's difficult man. People are going to be let down and some heroes make it and others don't. It's just a personal, personal, well personal, what the hell is that word even? It's just a personal preference, but I really think that my list is pretty solid. Of course people are going to hate. But there's all, there is a decision why pe why heroes get left out. I will go into that as well. Not for every hero, but I will explain why I choose certain heroes over others. So make sure to check in for that on Fridays. If you're hyped for that, make sure to sub to the channel as well if you're not. I can't believe you're not. How, how could you? Oh shit! We actually stole that kill. I want to pop my summoning armor so badly. Alright, here we go. Chase the Lapina down. Come on. Come on. Oh, Mikio got stunned. 
Otherwise, we would have gotten it, I think. Looking good. I don't think we want to keep on going for this. <laughs> Lol! Did you see that? Hardcore parkour! That Lapina is actually crazy there. Nice double dash. Lapina is definitely a, a great entry for the uh, top 5 ADs. Her movement is insane. She has slow on enemies, she has a stun, a very high skill shot. Is that stun? She throws out these fireballs like she's Mario. When she uses her jump, her attack speed gets crazy. And she has her passive, which deals additional damage every couple of shots. Oof. It's hard to get around that. We're looking good. Team's looking good. Come on. I hate that the poison doesn't work on this guy. Because it, it feels very slow. But that's also because Zeus and Bonnie straight up did not work with us on this. And they are the ones dealing the damage. I got one. Yo, yo, Rotep, slow it down, my man. I'm going to show you my pyramid. What? Well done. This character is actually crazy. Somebody at R2 Games came up with that. Let's make him say, I'm going to show you my pyramid. Because that doesn't sound weird at all. <laughs> yo, these guys at these studios, I don't know what they're thinking, but they made a hell of a hero, at least. Come on, hit the tower, there we go. Oh, I'm not dead. Let's go. Yo, yeah, that should be game. I hope you enjoyed this week's Pick My Trick. For next week, leave a comment down below in the comment section and vote for your favorite heroes for next week. My name is Moon, your favorite hero from Heroes Evolve. As always, I love you guys. See you next time. Peace out. Hesitating, kryptonite desires set my heart afire.